Hello, I am Vega. Hey, I'm Alec from Matter Hackers, and today I'm going to make a 3D printer talk. I thought it'd be cool to come up with a way to make my printer speak to me whenever it's doing something. So if it's starting a print, aborting a print, it's out of filament, I want it to say something. I want it to be able to announce from across the room that something is happening. So what I have here is a bunch of different parts that will be the speaker, I've got the board that will communicate it, and then I will have the board on the printer send G code that will then mean that it needs to start playing some sounds. So first thing I need to do now is I got the soldering iron heating up. I need to get the speaker actually soldered together, which is why I have these red and black wires. We just have these in a drawer. I just grab them, I'm just gonna splice them and solder them on to these two terminals. Heat shrink it, feed it through the hole in this print. This is just PLA. So for the most part, there is step one. We got the speaker in the housing, it's wired up. I have enough wire length here so that however long I need, I have enough. I'll deal with this end when I'm ready. But the next step is to get the uh, actual audio effects board soldered up. It comes with some pins. I picked the version that has amplifiers on it. These are going to go on here. If I wanted to, I could do a left and right speaker. I'm just using one because this should be more than enough for the uh, use that I have. But just gonna stick these through the holes because there's these pins on the back of them. Stick them through, flip it over, put some solder here, and then that'll do it. That'll keep these attached and we'll be good to go. So there you go, here's the board. Got all the pins in there, got the connectors for the amplifiers, which is what we'll connect to the speaker. So this is, for the most part, wired up. Now I just need to actually put the audio files on here. And that's really simple. I just need to plug this into a computer. It'll treat it as a, uh, like a flash drive and I just drag and drop audio files over, either WAV or OGG, and you want as small as you can get because this only holds two megabytes, and one of the audio files on here takes up uh, a quarter of that. So just play with compression rates. You may have to go with the worst possible quality audio, but it'll work. Next thing is to assemble the uh, actual buttons. So. You can have the triggers a lot of uh, different ways and what they do, like do you want it to loop, do you want it to do a random song, whatever. Uh, but then there's some very specific pins that are designed for buttons like volume. So right now what I'm doing is uh, twisting the wires just so they're not a loose mess of wires running everywhere. Um, and then I'll terminate this where I put on uh, one of these clips, one of these uh, pins on the end pin connectors so that these will plug directly into the uh, Aztec X5 GT, which is the board I have on this printer. And uh, I'll get more to that once we're at the stage where we're actually trying to put these into the printer. Um, but now these are all twisted. These are in a good place. I can set this aside and then start making all the little connections that will uh, run from the uh, audio effects into the smoothie um, Aztec X5 GT as well. So just a couple different ones, and I just wanna make sure that I use the trigger pins on this side. I need to use ground, and then I will also need to make uh, some more connectors to go from the voltage in and ground and take that into the uh, X5 GT so that this has power and will actually function, and then this will power the speaker and everything else. So a lot of different things gotta plug into this from the board to make it run, but pretty easy. All those sorts of pins are available already. So just gotta get splicing. So after all that, all the wires are spliced. This is our connector that will go from the uh, board into the audio effects. This one will be for power. We'll do one side is ground, one is uh, five volts. This power bundle will be for volume up and down, ground and well, that one. Then we also have this. This doesn't need any sort of cap connector because this just goes into here and screws down so you don't need any sort of connector piece it's built into the board so i'm going to put this on the side because i've already gone ahead and cut some of this uh, mesh up front just to kind of hide all the electronics but i didn't take into account this uh, bracket when i put this uh, model together so i'm just gonna uh, see where that ends and just chop it up 
because it's supposed to be right there. We just cut that bit off, we'll be fine. So it's not a structural piece, so it doesn't matter that it cracked a bit, but now it actually attaches. And I can grab this and turn that T-nut that was in there, and that is locked in place. All the buttons work, that's in their spot. Speaker's in here. Now I just have to plug in couple sets into the board and we should be ready to run. Okay, so I have uh, gone ahead and added all the stuff to the config and I've added a special line in the menu that should allow me to test it. So it won't say anything when I start it, um, but I just wanna make sure everything works before I just say, uh, you know, let's run at it. So let me turn it on. Okay, so because I tried to turn it on and nothing happened, the screen didn't light up or show anything, uh, what that means is that the configuration file has some sort of setup that is, in a way, wrong. So it just doesn't do anything, which is good, because not doing something is just as good as doing something. I'm able to at least figure out that whatever I have just changed, um, didn't like it. So now it's just to go back and play with some of the settings, see if maybe I have a pin is being used for two different things, or whatever my input, input command is is already being used, things like that. And once I cross-reference all those things are fine, we'll try again and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's try it again. Let's just see if that fixes it at all. It's bad solder. So it keeps repeating, which is not how this is programmed. Like, that's a specific way to program it. Uh, so what this means is it's, the board is telling the audio effects on, and it's just, just spamming on continuously. So I need to figure out which pin this audio file is connected to and make it not do that. Nothing should happen when I turn it on. Ah! Well, I still can't see on that. Go home, Ricky. Ricky, go home. We'll pick this up later. I don't know how this is going to work. Why isn't it working? It's kind of working, but it's not working. There are demons in this printer. That's the whole reason there's Vegas, because they're trying to stop the demons. We need a Doom Slayer. I don't know what's going on. Here we go, sweaty fingers to the rescue. All right, so changed it, changed the configuration file. No longer have uh, pin three doing anything. It's just commented out, so nothing. Nothing should happen this time. It should just, it should just like skip over it. And then the only th other thing that's on pin four, which is gonna play the Doom soundtrack music, which if that works, then that's at least a step. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. Does it say anything on here? Okay. All right, that's surprising. So if I go down here to Doom and click it, something should happen. Or nothing. Well, that's 3D printing for you. When you build it yourself, it's up to you to figure out why things are breaking. I don't know why things are breaking. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna sleep on it, and Ricky will just jump cut to me being well rested. So let's come back later when I've thought about this a lot and stayed up all night. All right, so it's Monday now. I've had some time to really think it over. I spent most of uh, Friday morning trying to figure this out and uh, it works. It really works. Like everything, well, 
95%. So there was supposed to be uh, a line that would happen if you click abort. Um, however, doing that like freezes the firmware. So I have just disabled that one until I figured that out. But the rest of them actually work. So let's go ahead and turn on Vega and see what happens. Hello, I am Vega. So there we go. That part works. On the side here, I have volume up, which is working. I do know that. Volume down works as well, but let's turn it to full volume and then press the third button. This is gonna go on for a while. So now that we know that the on button works, the volume buttons work, and the third button on the side for whatever audio clip I throw in, which is the Doom theme, we should see if the pause, resume, print finished, and power off all play audio as they are uh, expected to. So I'm gonna load up some black PLA, start up a quick 10 minute print, do a layer change for a different color, and that should go through all the different sounds. So this should be the last layer of black, and so when this pass is done, I will go ahead and pause it and should hear an audio file. And let's pause it. We are at great risk, Dr. Hager. All right, so color swapped. Let's go ahead and resume. Okay, so now it's on the very last part of the last layer. It just needs to finish the perimeters and then the top solid infill for the M. And we should be done, hear the print finished sound, and then it will turn off. So that about sums up this project, and while it is unnecessary, pretty ridiculous, and in most cases kind of stupid, uh, I'm really proud with how it turned out. It's, like I said, pretty ridiculous, but it's going to be a lot of fun just to figure out different ways to make him speak, and uh, even potentially seeing more speaking 3D printers out there thanks to this video. So, like I said, look forward to seeing more printers that can speak and actually engage with the user and things like that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.